Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Photo and select the Elliptical Marquee Tool. It's beneath the Rectangular. So select that, go for Add as the mode, and then add some circles. Hold down the Shift, so create. Now I'm gonna create fairly big circles, but you can create any size. And you can see what happens. If you go to Selection, it's gonna select, say that part of the tree, that part of the tree. So you don't have to have the whole thing selected. There's gonna be some transparency there. So just gonna do that. Edit and copy and then edit and paste. So I'll just deselect that. So you can see now I've got another layer, but it doesn't contain everything that was in that image. I can also go down to effects, just click there, and I can go to say 3D. So 3D, you can see that I can change the radius and you get these sort of bubbles or whatever, raindrops on top of the image. You can modify things, soften, etc. Profiles, also you can go to bevel and boss. I'm using the pillow and you can change the radius modify the direction, etc. And once you're happy with that design, click OK. I want to convert that into a pattern. But first, before I do that, I need to go to Layer and Rasterize. Otherwise, it just doesn't work because of the layer effects. So Rasterize and deselect that. That Preserve Layer Effects makes certain that's off and Rasterize. And now you've got your design there. You can see that layer there. Well, just go up here to Layer New Passing Layer from Selection. Now I'm just gonna remove the original and then you can see what I can do now. I can select that and I can resize. And of course, it obviously slightly shifts away from the original image. So you can create some interesting designs just by doing that or maybe rotating it just slightly so it's just slightly offset. However, what you can do, you can resize it like that and you can also hold down the Alter Option key. Actually, before I do that, you can also, if you want to, go up here to Mirror. You want to do that as well. That creates some interesting designs as well. But I just want to point that out, but I'm going to turn it off. And then hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate the design. And you can repeat it. And you can see now you end up with these fragments of the original design spread over. What you can also do, resize. So you can resize it, rotate it. Again, hold down the Alter Option key, duplicate that, and so on and so on. And they're all pattern layers. So you can select all of them. Everyone has, and then you can resize them all together. So you can do that. So you can move them around to create all kinds of weird and wonderful designs. However, what you can also do, you can go to layer and merge selected. The end result will not be like this. That's the one trouble with merge selected. As good as that is, and it becomes a pattern layer. Merge visible is probably the best option, and then, but it's no longer, it's just a pixel layer. And of course you can, if you wish, then use that as a pattern layer. You can always just go to layer and new pattern layer from selection and continue. You've got this design now made up of multiple images, bubbled design like that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.